accounting superstars. This is Professor Don Bush from the Accounting Superstar YouTube channel. I've been a professor for about 30 years and a CPA for about that long. I've got great ways to explain accounting, so welcome aboard here. This lesson is for students who are in their first accounting class, probably about the fifth or sixth week of class, who are studying inventory and purchases and retail sales. Well, here's the problem today. There are two different ways to track purchase discounts. And one way is my favorite. I think it's uh, far superior. So let's see how it's done. So here's what's going on. We've got Fred who purchased 10 snow blowers to be sold to customers. The purchase price was $10,000 and Fred was offered the following terms from his vendor. Uh, 2-10 net 60. Now, if you're having a hard time remembering what 2-10 net 60 means, uh, there, I've got some really great videos on this. Purchase discounts, examples 1, 2, and 3. So there you go. So in a nutshell, Fred takes uh, the discount. Uh, he will get 2% off his purchase. In other words, uh, pay within 10 days, get 2% off. Otherwise, pay up in 60 from the date of purchase. So here are the two methods, the gross method and the net method. So gross method, very easy. Number one here, how does Fred record the transactions uh, using the gross method? Well, he's going to record the amount at the gross amount, $10,000. So Fred would debit purchases for $10,000, credit accounts payable for $10,000. Now Fred is using the periodic system of inventory and so he has to debit purchases here. And purchases is when um, a business buys things that they're going to turn around and sell to customers. So what if Fred takes that 2% discount, which he should, it adds up folks, that 2% is very valuable. So Fred would debit accounts payable for 10 grand and that's just reversing out the credit here uh, that we originally put in. And Fred would record the purchase discounts of $200 and would uh, record the spending of $9,800 in cash. So the journal entry balances. Now, this is great if you want to be um, real happy about taking discounts. It shows you that you're taking discounts, which is a good thing, taking that $200. But the problem with this is, is when Fred misses the discount, it doesn't show up in the accounting records. And so the boss doesn't have anything to be angry about. So the, the boss doesn't know that you're missing discounts. And that's the, the weakness of this method. So what if Fred does not take the discount? Here's the journal entry right down below. He would debit accounts payable again for 10000 to reverse out that $10,000 credit up there originally and would be spending $10,000 cash. So there you go. Again, the weakness is uh, the boss doesn't uh, learn about people not taking the discount. Now with the net method, the opposite happens. When uh, discounts are not taken, the boss finds out about it. So here we go, the net method. Uh, we're going to record the purchase at the net amount. That's why it, it's called the net method. So purchases, 9,800. Accounts payable, 9,800. And if Fred does take the discount, well, we just reverse out accounts payable for 9,800. We're reversing out that original credit there. And we credit cash for 9,800, very simple. However, what if Fred does not take the discount? Well, I, here's the boss here blowing up, uh, kind of angry. Well, the boss is going to find out that the discount was not taken. So uh, what we do is we, Debit accounts payable for 9800 Again, we're reversing out that original 9800 And purchase discounts lost shows up in the accounting records, $200. And we credit cash for 10000 So there we go. So this method here, I think, is a lot better because it uh, tells the uh, management when purchase discounts are not being taken, that the company is losing out on these savings very important savings. So I hope you like this lesson. I've got all these videos listed by topic on accountingsuperstars.com. Check out that website. Uh, you can find a video by, by the topic that you're looking for. Also hit the like button and the subscribe button. And until next time, we're now.